Today we're gonna track some stocks using Home Assistant. I have, uh, actually, we're gonna pull out Alpha Vantage and we're gonna put in a custom component that uses Yahoo Finance, so let's go. So let's jump into the computer, let me show you. So we tracked some stocks here. We are tracking Tesla stocks, VMware stocks, some Bitcoin, and some Amazon. Uh, this uses a component called Alpha Vantage, and there's a ton of issues with it. There's an so there's basically an API that only allows you to grab two stock quotes every five minutes, or maybe it's five every two minutes, but in any event, it, the way the component works, it just overwhelms it. So we're gonna switch over to a new component that I found using Yahoo Finance. So this is this one right here. It's made by Indu uh, Prakash. So we're gonna grab this one, so we're gonna download it. We go here, we're gonna click download. This creates this file. So this is a zip file. We're gonna grab this custom component. We're gonna copy this and we're gonna to go to our Home Assistant root. It's gonna be here. Let's go to config. We're gonna to go to custom components and we're gonna drop it. Unfortunately, this one does not use hacks, so you can't do it through there, but it's really easy. I mean, you just pop it in here and this grabs that sensor. It's gonna create a sensor for us. So let's close this. Let's do, let's go back to our home assistant. Let's do a config check. So we're gonna go to server controls, check configuration. We're gonna restart this. We're gonna just, while that's restarting, Let's look. So what we need to do is we just need to add this sensor. So let's copy it and let's go to, let's go to add. And what we do is we have a package already for finance, I believe. Here it is. So I'm gonna grab this. Let's paste this in here. Let's do this. Copy this, bring that there. We're gonna say platform, platform. I like using these dashes. We're gonna say scan interval is hours. We do not need the API. We're gonna grab the Tesla symbol. So I don't think we need any of this. So the only thing we need are the symbols. So we're gonna say Tesla. We're gonna track VMware. And we're gonna track Amazon. Perfect, and we are, uh, do we want these? We can use these, these are separate platforms. So let's grab these. So now I'm gonna comment this out. And I'm just selecting everything in control forward slash. And then we do not need this anymore, so we delete this. Great. Hello, this looks Assistant has been restarted. All right, Home Assistant's been restarted. Uh, let's see, we're probably gonna have to restart it one more time. All right, so we're gonna save this. We are gonna go back to Home Assistant. We we'll check configuration one more time. Let's give it one more restart. So once it restarts, let's see. So what it does is it adds a Yahoo Finance ID. Now that Home Assistant is back up and running, let's just go check to see if our sensors are there. We're gonna type in Yahoo and we can see our Amazon, Tesla, and VMware quotes have come in. So this is closing quotes. You can see there's a bunch of attributes that are added to that that we can test against. So what can we do now that we have these stock prices? Well, you can basically just create some rules 
and you can trigger, you know, you can turn a light green, for instance, when your stock is up, or you can turn it red when it's down. So there's a couple things you can do, um, but this is a great way to just grab a bunch of your stocks and not necessarily have to worry about these API limitations. It seems to work great. It's not part of the Home Assistant core because I think it does use web scraping, but it seems to work perfectly. Um, I'll keep using it until it doesn't. Hope this was helpful. Take care.